Welcome back to Grow Rich, Grow Happy. I am Mr. Foresight, and I would like to first start off by wishing everyone a happy Easter. If you celebrate Easter, I would like to wish you a happy Easter on this wonderful, beautiful Sunday. And uh, before we get started, I would like to start off with my affirmation. Those of you that would like to repeat along to yourself, uh, you're welcome to do so. This is how I start off the day, especially with my very first video of the day. Okay, let's go. To manifest wealth, I put into action the required wisdom. That's all. And if you've said that, I mean, even if you said it to yourself, regardless what time you're watching this video, I truly believe that you're putting into action the required wisdom that it's going to take to get you to your dreams and your goals. Now, also, I want to thank all of my new subscribers for uh, signing up. I ask that you do hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a video. And, and if you find this video helpful or... Um, uh, educational in some way or that, or that you learn something I actually you give me a thumbs up it really helps the channel now tell you guys I didn't post yesterday and I didn't post because I was researching and I always say whenever you get a moment to research do that I was researching velodrome and like I told you guys I was gonna do because um, I just wasn't quite settled with oh okay uh, Aerodrome was borrowing things from Velodrome and they're just better. I wasn't satisfied with that. So I went out and I did some uh, research last night while watching a little bit of television with the family. And um, yeah, hey, I'm going to share with you what I learned. And again, this is not um, investment advice, not financial advice. I'm just bringing you the facts so you can make your own decision up. All right, let's get to it. All right, right now at the uh, time of recording this, Velodrome is down to 25 cent. And um, it could be that that could be because of a lot of things, but let's check something real quick. I want to check and see what the uh, actual crypto market is doing. It's actually up. So Ele uh, Velodrome is down. Uh, not enough for me to. Uh, really say what's a true reason for it i'm not really worried about that right now i actually use this as an opportunity to accumulate some more and here's the reason now as i was going through and i was checking on these guys one of the things that i was looking at i kept uh well here we go i'm gonna take you here so you'll understand where i'm coming from all right i was uh doing some research and is this it yeah this is it Okay, so I was looking here, and it said nine altcoins, including Doge, will experience important events in the upcoming dates. Here's a trend list to watch. So when I see something like that, I look at something that might be a catalyst, something that might increase the value or price of a, a crypto. So, you know, I went in here, and I'm scrolling down because I'm looking for Arrow. And I find Aerodrome, our favorite one, you know, one of our favorite tokens. And it's doing extremely well. A lot of you making gains out there, include myself. Um, okay, it says here the token Aerodrome Finance. Here it is. Here's the thing. Here's what I was looking for. It says Aerodrome plans to launch Slipstream within weeks. Coinbase Ventures officially announced that it acquired acquired and retained Aero in last February. It's okay. But I was like, okay, slipstream. Okay, let's go check all this out. So from there, I headed over. Uh, I was on their Twitter. And when I was on their Twitter, let's go back to, and I'm showing you guys how to do this. Uh, arrow. Let's go to Arrow. Here's, here's the thing that got me. This is what made me do some deep dive. All right, here we go. <clears throat> As we come down here, I'm trying to see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. Uh, here we go. It's not here. Wait, it was here. I'm moving too fast. Um, but here's what it basically said. I came over to Arrow, and I was because I've been hearing Slipstream a lot, and I was like, okay, so what are they talking about? And what it said is, if you want to know what Slipstream is, it, it left a link to go to Velodrome and read. And I said, huh, odd. So then I started digging in deep. And the thing that I, I found out 
is that both companies or both projects were made by the same development team. That's right. It's the same development team, which is why their logo is so similar. To me, I look at that and I say, oh, that's great news. That's great news. Because while everybody's jumping up and saying um, Aerodrome is better, Aerodrome is better on the base network, oh, it's a better token. And I remember when I was doing original research, one thing I saw was that they they borrowed a lot from Velodrome. And so as I dug deep in, I said, yeah, okay, they're the same, the same people made it, same development team. So except Velodrome is used on the Optimism network. And it's the same thing. It's an automatic market maker. Whereas Aerodrome, they made it for um, base, for the uh, base network. But they're the same people. And then, so, you remember when in the last video I, I commented, which you can uh, go back and look at, and I said the only difference between these two projects was that Coinbase basically backed um, Aerodrome. They backed Aerodrome. And so, a lot of people, because of that, think that Aerodrome is just all out better. That's not the case. I told you that was the only thing I could find between the two. So then I, I started looking like, okay, they got the same development team. Both platforms were created by the same teams one year apart to this day. One was created in, um, uh, what is it? Velodrome was created 2022, November. And Aerodrome was created 2023, November. So one year apart they both focused on liquidity uh and they both are automatic market makers they both they similarities and features they offer um uh liquidity providers rewards and their native tokens uh and they they both plan to incorporate features like concentrated liquidity for their uh user flexibility they're both doing the same thing so it begs to differ okay so why didn't Coinbase back Velodrome. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. This gets good. So, that was my question. I'm like, so why didn't Coinbase back them? So, I started digging down a little bit down more dude, uh, through the um, rabbit hole. I'm like, makes no sense if they are the same development team. So then what I found is there's nothing saying that Coinbase didn't because sometimes, I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that they did, but it's nothing saying that they didn't because we have to remember Coinbase posted them. They put them on their, uh, they, they, um, they offer them on their Coinbase. So basically everything that you can do with Aerodrome, you can buy it on Coinbase and Everything that you can do, you can do the same thing with Velodrome. The only thing is publicly, it's publicly stated that uh, Coinbase backed Velodrome. But it's a win for both companies. I mean, for both uh, the development team. They don't lose either way. They have both of these projects that they're still working on. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying by that is Velodrome is a ticking time bomb. It's a ticking time bomb. Look at this. So you got this. Uh, just let's look at some news. See if it, what can we see anything. Coinbase Network experience is blows or bros. They're still talking about. Um, when I go in there and look, they're still talking about Arrow. This is down, and not investment advice, but I saw this opportunity because I'm saying I'm already holding Aerodrome. So I said I'm just gonna buy. Uh, some more of this because there's nothing wrong with the project nothing at all and if they're going to here's the thing they created aerodrome off the success not the failure off the success of velodrome so when i come over here i found another article velodrome and aerodrome look at this look at these two logos they're the same so Cats out the bag, for those of you who don't know, some of you probably did know. Well, I didn't. So I'm going to go down. I already went through this. 
if you like, I can put this. I, I think I'm going to leave this link right here so you can do a little bit more research. I'm going to put this link down in the uh, description below so you guys can go and do your own research when it comes to this. Uh, here we go. Section 2. Velodrome and Aerodrome AMA, 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 AMM Design. Velodrome Finance and more recently Aerodrome have had success in the optimism and base ecosystems with the unique approach to automatic market makers, whilst building upon the uh, the solidity uh, model, they incorporate components from Uniswap, Curve, and um, what is this Convex? Uh, here's a closer look. So I'm gonna come down a little bit more. Let's go down a little bit more because I want to see something here. And this is showing you just how they work. Uh, future developments. The Velodrome and Air. There it is, right there. The Velodrome and Aerodrome teams are addressing their considerations by launching basically this um, slipstream. And here's what slipstream is: it will improve trade volume efficiency, and it's going to create uh, basically that same efficiency on both networks. Here's the thing: Velodrome already utilizes this, and so now that team, being that they made both of them. They're going to use that same technology over on Aerodrome and what it's going to do for the price. It's only going to take it up even more. But I'm just, again, I'm not a betting man, but why wouldn't Velodrome also uh, benefit from that? And it's linked to Ethereum, the Ethereum network. And Ethereum, we already know. If Ethereum get this uh, ETF, which they should sometime this year. Everything just even connected to Ethereum that close. Why wouldn't it benefit? It's like a domino effect. Okay, uh, the launch stream called Slipstream. Uh, the launch will uh, improve trade volume efficiency, attracting more volume to their platform from the major pairs and will uh, stimulate token value by being able to earn the, uh, these greater trading fees by locking and voting in the uh, gauge with the token uh in addition they have announced an automatic voting manager called relay to help uh v token holders get the most out of their positions the velodrome uh relay does does this by incorporating an a uh, liquidity bleh, liquidity pool emissions auto uh, compounder for liquidity providers to automatically accumulate voting power, thereby increasing the value of their rewards. Now, uh, 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 they, they're one. I'm telling you people, they are one. Further research, the incentive flywheel of Velodrome and Aerodrome is an exciting mechanism for liquidity bootstrapping and protocol token launches. To understand how the flywheel performs in practice, historical data should be examined. It should be examined, namely volume and fee uh, generation, bribe, effectiveness, lock token holder behavior, and liquidity accrual. These two, these two right here, I'm sorry, but I'm I, I I'm holding both, so why not? So I look at these two right here, and I say I can't say one over the other is really better if the same development team created them, and they're just using. I mean, you got to realize the, the the biggest difference between the two is that Vela Jones been out a year longer. It's been out a year longer than Arrow. So uh, if we go down here and we look at the high for Velodrome, all time high was 37 cents. It begs the difference. Somebody say, well, why couldn't they? Why they even reach a dollar? We didn't hear anything about Coinbase uh, Ventures either. I say that is the biggest difference between the two. Actually, it's the only difference is that it's public public knowledge that Coinbase Ventures backed them. So when I look at that, I look at it. Okay, you got the same technology for both networks. It's just different networks. That doesn't mean Velodrome is a failure. 
They're on the Optimism Network. I say with this upcoming, with this upcoming um, having cycle, this bull run that we're in right now, uh, I I would hate to miss this token. Not financial advice, but personally, that's for me. That's for me. I like to uh, get in projects at the lowest possible price point, and just because it hasn't went past 37 cent people it it's it ain't been out that long it's really new too it ain't it hasn't at all and as far as governance uh velodrome they currently use uh a different governance than aerodrome but they're the same team velodrome is just more established so in essence to me, Aerodrome can be seen as an adaptation of uh, Velodrome. And uh, they're just going to build upon it. So this is one that I, I, I really believe uh, you guys should watch. I'm going to watch as well. And at this point, now that I know that they're, that they're the same team, for me, this makes my research a lot easier. Because when... Um, Arrow starts coming out with new um, new information and new releases and different things. I can backtrack and look at Velodrome and see how close they are related. Because right now, there's no difference between the two except Coinbase Ventures. And we don't know if Coinbase did invest in uh, Velodrome. We really don't know because they, they offer them. If you put a blindfold on somebody and you told them to tell me the difference between the two, they couldn't. If I mean, if you, if it wasn't public knowledge that Coinbase Ventures was behind Arrow and you used to look at these two tokens, you would not know the difference. So I just wanted to put that out there. Those are the facts. So it's something to think about. And uh, you let me know if this is something you're going to add to your bag, if you already hold it. I hold some, uh, depending on how low it fall, I might add some more. And uh, I actually added, well, I already told you guys, I think that I added some more to uh, Aerodrome. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll cover uh, some more on Aerodrome uh, next. But uh, for now, I just wanted to let you guys know, as you wanted me to talk about uh, Velodrome. And I, and I feel like it's, I feel like it's not a bad investment. All right.